Your marketing story makes money. A story about you and your business well told is a marketing story. Hi, I'm Mike Walpert, founder of Social Jumpstart. The story of why you do what you do, the why, can be very compelling, even without selling. So let's take a listen to this guy's story, and then for a couple of seconds afterwards, we'll deconstruct it, take a look at what works and why, and how you can do this in your business. Hi, I'm Michael Feldman, and I uh, am a painter and artist since I've been 10 years old, and I love it. And I had unfortunate and fortunate experiences. Uh, the unfortunate side was that I kind of grew up very hard, and there was a war going on. And then when we finally came to America, I couldn't really communicate English real well, so I did a lot of artwork, lots and lots of artwork. Uh, my teachers in school gave me paints and paper, and I took them home, and I would bring them back, and they'd hang it up. So that kept going on and on and on, and I slowly developed my love for art. So through my whole life, I did art, 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 and I really liked it. So now it's my turn to give back. And the way I give back is I teach art to young kids. And they're about the same age as when I started, around 10. Some of them um, are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I love teaching the kids, and every summer I have a San Anselmo art camp, I'm sorry, San Anselmo kids art camp, and the word kids is very important, and uh, I usually have 10, 12 kids in my uh, class. First two weeks I have 15, 16 each, and it's wow. But, you know, doing art, for some reason, the kids love it so much that they're easy. They really would rather paint and draw than even take a break. So that's what art does for, for kids, and it gives them something to nurture through their whole life. And maybe some kids will weave it in and out of their life. Uh, you know, they're 20 years old, and they're kind of bored, and they're sitting in their room or whatever. Uh, and they uh, do some art. Or later on in life, they, uh, they may have a breakup with their girlfriend or boyfriend, and they go and do some art. I like that idea because it encourages them to put their feelings out on a canvas or paper, and it's really pretty good. And then later on in life, they got a job, and they have a family. Somehow they still feel they want to do art. It may not be as often, but they do art to, uh, to weave through their life. And, uh, and then they get older and older, and they're still doing art. And then all of a sudden, they're 56 years old. They lost their job. They can't find any work. But the good news is they have art. And then they start something like I did. I said, hey, I'm going to go out and paint. And I had no money. I had hardly any way of having an income. I, was, uh, I, I decided to go out and I set up my easel and I started to paint. And then everybody's coming by, watching me paint, giving me hugs. Women would leave me the phone number. Ha. Uh, <laughs> and then um, it just worked out. I love art. And now I paint almost every day or every few days. And I teach kids in the summer. And hopefully, and this was all by accident, hopefully most kids can carry it through their life. That's about it. See, a simple passion path story from a nice guy. We know that he sells paintings. We know that he sells an art camp for kids. But more importantly, we know why he does it and what motivates him, what drives him. And that is compelling and attractive. So how can you do this in your business? How can you tell a simple story about what drives your why to create what you do? People will buy what you do, but they love why you do it. I'm Mike Walpert. We'll see you next time in Social Storytelling.